Hi Pisces and welcome to your April 2018 reading. Okay, I'm going to begin to shuffle the cards because I know I didn't do that in my last video. Um, I'll do a quick shuffle. I actually shuffle the cards more in depth before I shoot the video. But this is going to be a general reading for the month of April 2018. So the first card is going to represent the present situation or the major um, energy or uh, what Pisces is facing for the month. That was the Five of Cups. We'll see if that pops out again. So what is the major energy of the present situation for Pisces now or in the near future? Next card will represent the challenge. So what's challenging Pisces? Queen of Swords popped out. What's challenging Pisces presently or will be challenging them in the month of April 2018? Next card will be your recent past. So what led up to the present situation and the challenge? What in Pisces' recent past led up to this situation? Next card will represent the near future. So what, how will this situation develop? What will be happening in the near future for Pisces when it comes to their challenge and their present situation? How will that develop in the month of April? Next card will represent your thoughts. So what's on the mind of Pisces um, in the month of April? What are they thinking about? Next card will represent your hopes and fears. So what is in the subconscious of Pisces? What are they hoping or fearing in the month of April? Next card will represent your overall energy. So what is going to be Pisces' overall energy in the month of April 2018? Next card will represent your immediate environment. So what is in the immediate environment for Pisces? What is influencing them or affecting them in their immediate environment? Next card will represent the advice. So what is the advice for Pisces when it comes to their challenge and uh, overall advice for the month of April? And last but not least, what is the overall outcome for Pisces? What is the overall outcome for Pisces in the month of April 2018? What will happen? What will be the likely outcome, overall outcome for Pisces? So the Empress trying to peek out. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So I'm going to put the cards down and then I'll go through them one by one with you guys, okay? Ooh, okay. So are you guys being challenged by a relationship, a connection with someone, a friendship? Ooh, okay. Okay, a lot of strong energy. All right, I think you guys are trying to bring back something that you lost, probably. This could be a relationship, a friendship. A deep connection with someone um, there was a falling out maybe in the recent past and you're thinking about it it's making you pretty unhappy but I feel like you guys are going to try to manifest something in the near future we'll get into it find out what that is okay Ooh. okay all right your energy is bomb in, in April you guys Queen of Swords I mean Queen of Swords Queen of Wands I love the Queen of Wands all right your immediate environment, your advice, uh-oh, your advice could be saying no second chances, but let's see, overall outcome, ah, okay, okay, bottom of the deck, you have the eight of cups in reverse, this is saying that you're having a tough time letting something go, okay, something that has uh, either you lost in the past something that fell out something that was shocking uh, something that came to an end there was a major fallout something um, you're having a hard time moving forward okay we'll get into it because i do see that here in the the rest of the cards now present energy you have the king of pentacles you're the second sign cancer also was king of pentacles but this was more so their energy um, the present energy for you right now, very stable. Um, I feel like you guys um, either are very secure when it comes to your money, your finances, um, your home life, like anything in the physical realm, you guys got that on check. Like your bills are paid, um, you're not worried, your job is secure, like your surroundings are good, you know, you're very focused on your goals. But then also what's challenging you is um, the Two of Cups. So this could be, one second, 
All right, now what could be challenging you? Either you're being challenged by a relationship or maybe love is a challenge for you. You've been having a tough time meeting someone that you feel like is your equal, someone who's on your level, someone who you're willing to uh, share your cup of love with. That could be your challenge. If that's not your challenge, then I feel like... Um, the challenge is bringing back a relationship that you lost, okay? So it's going to be different for different Pisces. This is a general reading. In your recent past, you have the tower. So something very shocking, something very sudden, something you were not expecting happened in your recent past, okay? And I, ha and I feel like it has to do with either a relationship or a connection with someone, a friendship, a close family member. This is someone that you really have a bond with. Something shocking happened in your recent past. We'll get into it near future is the magician so uh this could be your energy i feel like there's this energy of trying to manifest something trying to create something okay trying to build something trying to get something back possibly that you lost um there's a strong energy to create your energy overall is the queen of wands so she is definitely a creator she's creative she's passionate she's driven and she goes for what it is that she wants she or he you know if there's guys watching this i'm just saying she because i'm describing the queen of wands but um, men can definitely embody those same characteristics of being confident, being strong, being creative, knowing what they want and going for it. Same thing with the magician. The magician is somebody who uh, brings thoughts and ideas um, and, and brings them into life, creates them, manifests them, uh, manipulates situations and tries to um, uh, create something out of nothing pretty much. Now, in your thoughts, you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So again, you're thinking about failure, something that has failed, um, something that you were not able to achieve. You're thinking about um, there was something maybe you were wishing for or hoping for that didn't really turn out the way you want. Or you're thinking about something that you weren't able to accomplish or your wish didn't come true, something that you really had a lot of emotions invested into. Could be this relationship. All right, that um, has fallen in the past. Okay, now in your hopes and fears, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So check that out. The King and the Queen are here. So this is again talking about relationships, partnerships, companionships. Um, you could be hoping that someone comes back. You could be hoping you can um, nurture a situation. Um, you could be dealing with a... Uh, Earth sign, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, and you're hoping that this person comes back around. You're hoping you can manifest something with this person, or you could be hoping again for stability, but um, I don't see why. Your current situation is very stable. Maybe you're hoping again, this is for those who are not dealing with someone from the past. I feel like you're hoping to meet, again, like I said, your equal. You're equal. See, this is you, you presently. This is your partner. You're hoping to meet the, the queen to your king or the king to your queen for some Pisces out there. Now your overall energy in the month of April, like I said, queen of wands, you're a bad bitch. Like I love the queen of wands energy. She is fiery. She's bold. She's passionate. She knows what she wants. She's um, attractive. She's very social. People are very drawn to her. That's going to be your energy in the month of April. And again, see the magician here. The magician is also an attractor. He attracts energy. He may, he's a manifester. He's a creator. You have two cards here of creation. So you're going to be definitely in an energy of creation, making something, building something, strong energy for you guys. Okay. Some of you are building, um, towards your financial goals some of you are, are trying to manifest the love like i said into your life but you want someone like i said who is your equal your immediate environment is a ten of wands so i feel like you've got a lot going on um either you're working really hard in your immediate environment um there's a lot going on in your life and we're going to clarify what this one is okay but this usually represents like struggles burdens great achievements um putting in a lot of work um like I said, with this magician, you're manifesting, you're putting the work, you're putting the work in and you're definitely doing so in the physical world. We'll clarify these. OK. Your advice is judgment in reverse. So this could be saying to hold off on making any final decisions, possibly. Um, this could also be saying 
to postpone something. I feel like you're really driven to creating something, to manifesting something, but I feel like this is saying to slow down a little bit, put a little bit more thought into what it is that you're trying to create because you don't want to you don't want to create something too rushed until you've put a lot of thought into it, okay? Because your overall outcome in the month of April is the 3 of swords, disappointment. Okay, and I feel like you're putting so much energy into trying to manifest something, to create something, to bring something into your life. And I feel like it's going to lead to disappointment. But don't worry, because this is minor arcana. Okay, um, so this is small energy. This is changeable energy. You have free will. And the best part about it is that um, if you're watching this video now, uh, towards the, the end of April, I'm sorry, towards the end of March, then that means that you've got a preview into April so you'll know not to put too much energy into something that's just going to disappoint you in the end okay so that's is, this is kind of like a forewarning for the month of April don't waste all that magician energy into manifesting something that's just going to disappoint you all right all right let's do some clarifiers with my smaller tarot deck and the first thing I want to see is your present situation or energy you have the king of pentacles so why is pisces the king of pentacles and their present energy or situation why is pisces the king of pentacles i feel like you guys have it all like you're the complete package the only thing missing like i said is your equal okay so that'll that'll resonate with some of the pisces out there why is the king of okay the empress you see you are living lavishly like you know your surroundings are great um you are comfortable you have it all except for your queen again you're equal somebody i feel like you want to meet someone who's just as as you know lavish as you takes care of themselves someone who also is able to create for themselves as an entrepreneur you know someone who's independent someone who um is able to manifest things that they talk about you know what i mean like some people have dreams and you know other people you know for those people that could be dreams forever but this person is someone who has a dream and then brings it to life brings it forward okay so i feel like you guys are longing for that you're longing for like an equal relationship a partnership okay let's let's get into it with your challenge why is the two of cups a challenge for pisces why is the Two of Cups a challenge for Pisces? Okay. <laughs> My God, you guys, like, what is happening? See? Queen of Pentacles. You guys are looking for that stable person, that nurturing person, that person who, again, is on your level, like someone who you can really build something with you know you don't want it to be unequal you make more money than them they make more money than you you want like to be a power couple um also this is not for those who are seeking love some uh, this could be for those who have lost love you could be wanting that connection back with again an earth sign uh capricorn taurus virgo if not that someone who embodies this characteristics of being very nurturing loving someone who's really got their shit together they're like the complete package and you're, you're longing to have them back or you're longing to meet that person okay one more for the two of cups in the challenge position for pisces let's get as much messages as we can for different pisces going through different situations the ace of cups in reverse okay so for some of you pisces yes you have lost um someone from your past for others of you you guys are feeling like you you are having a tough time manifesting a new beginning in love tower let's find out what this shocking event was in your recent past what's this tower energy for pisces in their recent past what is this tower energy for pisces in their recent past what is this tower energy for pisces okay the two of pentacles so i feel like something either overwhelmed you a decision was made um something was imbalanced you weren't you weren't able to keep a situation balanced or something really fell out of balance somebody dropped the ball something sh let's see you like what <laughs> what's this tower energy for pisces so what's a shocking event with the two of pentacles 
page of cups here okay so you could have gotten some news someone could have made a decision in your recent past maybe they decided that they don't want to be in this relationship anymore and you were not expecting that and i feel like you're you guys are really going to be trying hard in the month of april to get this love back but i think it's going to end in disappointment guys i feel like this person has made their decision hmm some sort of message. The, the Page of Cups is like a messenger of love. And look at this. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. See that? Cards are just confirming. I love when the cards repeat. Because that lets me know that, you know, they're confirming what's going on here. Disappointments. Major disappointments in your past. Having to do with emotions. Um, maybe somebody was juggling someone else. They chose somebody over you. Like, And I feel like you guys are going to be working hard to manifest that relationship back or trying to manifest love into your life, okay? Let's see what it is though. The magician. Why is the magician here in the near future for Pisces? Why is the magician here in the near future for Pisces? The Knight of Wands in reverse. I feel like you wanna manifest something that's stuck, something that's not moving forward. You wanna bring that passion back. You wanna make something happen quickly let's see one more why is the, the magician here in the near future for pisces huh? the queen of wands here in reverse so lots of wand cards here you're trying to manifest the connection between two people maybe you're younger they're older they're older you're younger did i just say the same thing twice you're older, they're younger, or they're younger, you're older, or something like that. You're trying to manifest something that's blocked right now. One more. Let's, get, let's try to get specific. There's so many Pisces here trying to manifest something, so it could be different for each one. But what is this magician energy here? I feel like you're trying to manifest. Yep. Thank you. You're trying to manifest the connection. Now I see with this queen. You see, like, this is like people cards. This is a connection between two people. And then when I ask for the cards to clarify, they give me the, the lovers in reverse. So I feel like you guys are trying to bring this connection back with someone that you've lost. Or you're trying to manifest the connection. Maybe you've had bad luck in love. You're trying to manifest something, a connection with somebody. If it's not love, this is a friendship, this is a sister, a brother, a cousin, a, a best friend, someone you fell out with, but you're tr definitely trying to create something. You want to manifest this connection back. In your mind, you are the Nine of Cups. You're thinking about loss, disappointment, Nine of Cups. What is this Nine of Cups energy for Pisces and their thoughts for the month of April? What is this Nine of Cups energy? Oops. The Knight of Swords. So you're thinking about something that um, maybe you rushed into or maybe something that was delayed. Um, this, could, this is an energy of like quick movement, but in reverse, it's like maybe there was like harsh words that were exchanged or maybe you overreacted in the situation and it caused you to feel some sort of disappointment or lack of achievement. What is this Nine of Cups in the mind? two of wands so again you're thinking about how to move forward what to do you're trying to make a choice do you want to leave behind something that failed and move forward or do you want to try and work it out um again this could have to do with the decision that was made in the past that left you feeling unhappy someone could have left or exited a situation and it was unexpected Let's get into your hopes and fears because I want to see what this Queen of Pentacles is about. She's come up twice now. What is this Queen of Pentacles and Pisces hopes and fears? What is this Queen of Pentacles? Justice. You see, you want, you want something to go in your favor. Either you feel like you deserve your equal and you just want you know justice to come through and give you you know that good karma give me that that person that i've been longing for you know i feel like some of you pisces are like i'm a good person you know i've got a good job everything else is working out so great for me except when it comes to my love life like i just want to meet my equal give me that justice some others of you could be wanting um another chance with someone or you could be wanting um 
to, to fix a wrong or to right a wrong or to get justice when it comes to this person who you feel like has left you heartbroken. Your energy, the Queen of Wands. Why is Pisces the Queen of Wands in the month of April? Why is their energy the Queen of Wands in the month of April? Here we go. The repeating cards. All right. So you, for some of you, I feel like, for some of you who don't want this person back, I feel like you're trying to manifest a new beginning for yourself, okay? You're trying to move on from this person in this situation and you want to be independent again. You want to be back in your, you know, yourself. You don't want to dwell over it. For others of you, I feel like you're really passionate about a relationship that's no longer, or a connection that's no longer there. Um, immediate environment is the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? What was that? The Five of Wands, okay, so lots of struggle in your environment. I feel like two cards of struggle. Let's get one more. What's the struggle? What's going on in Pisces environment in the month of April? What was that? Six of Wands in reverse. You see, I feel like you guys are putting a lot of energy into trying to manifest something, but it's it's a struggle. You guys are struggling in your immediate environment to try to gain victory with someone. Let's jump to advice. What's what's this judgment in reverse for Pisces? Why is judgment? What is this? Three of Wands. You're waiting for something to come in. You feel like you're putting that energy out, and now you're waiting for this person to come back, or you're waiting for something to come back. And there's delays. There's going to be delays. Let's see. One more. Why is judgment here in reverse for Pisces and their advice? Why is judgment here? Ace of Wands. No second chances. I'm so sorry to say it that way. You know, I don't like to say that to people who are in love or who really, really want somebody back because I know what that feels like. I've been through that. Um, but the cards, you know. I always say that tarot is like a very, um, not barbaric, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Like a very old, has a very old way of communicating and they don't have a lot of adjectives. They just say, no, not for you or no second chances. You know, like it's very direct. Again, no new beginning with this person. Judgment in reverse, no second chances. Don't if you were in a relationship that ended, someone chose to leave the relationship, don't, don't invest your energy into trying to bring this back. It's just going to lead to disappointments, okay? Overall outcome for Pisces in the month of April. Overall outcome. What's the overall outcome? Why is the Three of Swords here as the overall outcome? Why is the Three of Swords here in the overall outcome for Pisces? Do you want to fall? No? All right. Why is three of swords the overall outcome for Pisces? See? See? God, I love tarot. Tarot's amazing. There's going to be no second chances. I feel like this person probably doesn't want a second chance with you. Now, for those who are looking for new love, let me see. How can we interpret this? I feel like it's also saying slow down a little bit, have some patience, uh, not just yet. If you're looking for new love and you go rushing into situations, trying to find your equal, you're going to just be disappointed in the end. So slow down a little bit, put a little bit more thought into uh, what you want in a relationship. Let's get one more, please, for the seven, I'm sorry, the three of swords in reverse for the overall outcome the world in reverse so yeah this is a lot of major energy here this is talking about you know not being able to close a chapter you're being you're disappointed because you can't put an end to that to something that you've already lost okay now let's do some love advice from the ro oops from the romance angels okay so the first three cards that pop out oh shit <laughs> these cards are so slippery I just bent the crap out of it okay hmm. all right it's better now this is why I don't like to shuffle my cards too much because it really damages the cards but especially like the pretty ones like this one but um okay sorry 
first two cards that come out is love advice for Pisces. What advice do you have for Pisces in the month of April when it comes to their love life? The way that freaking flow fell out, I don't like. I like them to pop. That was a mistake. Um, first two cards that pop out, please. Love advice for Pisces. First, okay, now that's a pop. <laughs> one more. One more for Pisces. I like that one that just came out too. One more for Pisces, please. One more for Pisces. Please pop out. Love advice. What love advice do you... Okay, I'll take that one. I'll take this one too. That one flipped. Awesome, 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 awesome stuff. Ooh, what's that about? <laughs> okay, so the first card you have here, it says, keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So remember I said you are... You're expecting a lot. Your, your standards are high, Pisces. You're looking for somebody who's got it all, who's got their shit together. They're, you know, successful, driven, lots of ambition, okay? But slow down a little bit. Take some time to think about what exactly is the most important thing to you in a relationship. Is it just that idea of being a power couple or um, are there things that, you know, just because they're not on the same level as you financially, I feel like there's other things this person can provide. You gotta find out in a relationship, like they say, opposites attract. You always wanna go for someone who is has something that you lack and they should want to be with you because you have something that they lack and together as a unit, you guys make you know a whole person. You help them where they lack and they help you where you lack. That's a partnership. So uh, be optimistic about your future person, okay? Because your soulmate may differ from um, your idealistic um, vision of a soulmate, okay? And we all have that. Now the next card is calling in your soulmate. So we've got two cards about soulmates. And it says, calling your soulmate, it says, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together, okay? So again, like I said, you guys have the magician energy coming soon in the month of April. That means you're gonna be able to manifest, okay, and create. And it says your prayers and affirmations are bringing you closer. So make sure that you guys put a lot of thought into the type of person you wanna manifest in your life. Like I said, again, be open-minded. Keep an open mind, all right? Don't limit the universe when it comes to bringing you what you want. Because some people get so specific, they're like, I want this guy, I don't want him to be too short, or I don't want this girl to be, you know, this and that. And really, you don't know what you want until you meet the person, you know what I mean? There's been a lot of people I've made judgments about and then got to know them and was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm feeling this person, you know? Who would have thought? So keep an open mind and um, keep putting that vibe out there for those of you who are looking for a soulmate. Last card says wedding. The situation involves marriage, okay? For some of you guys, someone could have left you and ended up getting married to someone else, okay? To, for some of you guys, you could have been in a marriage and it's, and it's come to an end and you're really trying hard to, to, to bring it back, but it's just going to end in disappointments, all right? Um, for some of you guys, you're really longing for a partner. You're longing for deep commitment that leads to marriage. And last but not least, let's do messages from the universe. We're going to use the Cosmic Tarot. And the first three cards that pop out will be messages from the universe. So this is what the universe wants Pisces to know in the month of April. Okay. And I don't read reversals with this deck. So the first three cards that pop out will be messages from the universe for Pisces. What does the universe want Pisces to know? What is coming towards Pisces? Okay, that goes one. Ooh, I like that. What does the universe want Pisces to know in the month of April? What does the universe... Yep, that Ten of Wands flipped, but it didn't pop out. So twice you got the Ten of Wands. What does, I already know what universe is about to say. <laughs> I already know what universe is about to say because I was going to say it myself, but I like to let the cards confirm. Two more cards, please, for Pisces. Advice. What do you want them to know? What do you want Pisces to know? Oh, geez. Okay, we definitely don't want all that. Two cards only. Did I pick up one that already fell? Shit. Okay, two cards. 
Two cards, please. I think I picked up one that had already so It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my message. Either way. So, all right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. The universe. Thank you so much. You're sulking about something from the past. Someone from the past past love or you're sulking about not having a relationship that you, that you really really want okay universe is saying it's the world put an end to it start a new chapter move on sorry to say it that way but <clears throat> i feel like the more you pursue the situation the more it's just going to lead you back into this five of cups energy Okay, it's time to move forward. And you know what? If this person later realizes they want to be with you, they'll come back. But what's the point? What's the point of staying in this energy right now while this other person is moving on possibly? Okay, there's no purpose in that. That's just hurting you. Better to move on, but be optimistic. Keep an open mind about the situation. It could come back, but why, why sulk in the meantime? Doesn't help in the situation put an end to it and why not go out there and explore, find yourself, learn new things, okay? Keep doing what you've been doing so far and love will find you, okay? So Pisces, I hope that this video resonated with you. I hope that you were able to get some clarity from it. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can email me. My email will be below and in the description and I hope you have a great April.